I'm Presley, and welcome back to Bite Sized Experiments. If you watch our other channel, Act Out Games at All, you'll know how much we love Ooblick. And I realized that I never showed you guys um, watching on this channel how to make Ooblick, so that is what I'm going to be doing today, is showing you how to make the super duper amazing non-Newtonian fluid called Ooblick. So first I'm going to make it, and then as always I'm going to tell you how it works. So the best way to make Ooblick, uh, we've played around with formulas a lot to make sure we have the best thing to make this super awesome thing, um, is to have two parts of cornstarch and one part of water. Today we have two cups of cornstarch and one cup of water, but you could have two gallons of cornstarch and a gallon of water. Or if you wanted to make a lot, we've even made so much that we could fill a kitty litter box with it and be able to walk and run and jump on it. There'll be a link in the description where you can check out that video because that was really, really fun. So I'm going to warn you up front, it is extremely hard to describe Ooblick. You're really gonna need to make this at home to be able to understand what it feels like and how amazing it is. And luckily, it's not very hard to make at home because all you need is a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of water. So let's go ahead and make it. So the first thing is just to pour the cornstarch into the bowl, the cloud, I guess, and spill a bunch of it because you're graceful. Good. We tested it out and we discovered that the easiest way to mix it is to put the cornstarch in first and then put the water in because otherwise it turns into oobleck really early and oobleck just as a thing is really hard to mix. Um, so this is going to make it a little bit easier to mix, although it is kind of hard. So I'm just going to put the water in. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. You're going to need to mix it. We like to use a fork to mix it, um, kind, of like scrambled, kind of like scrambling an egg, except um, if you use your hands, it does get obviously very messy, as well as um, is oobleck is what's called a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it, changed, it changes viscosity, which is a really fun word to say, by the way, uh, depending on how much pressure is put on it. And oobleck, when there's more pressure put on it, it turns into a more solid, it actually does turn into a solid, which makes it really hard to mix with your hands, as well as it gets super messy if you mix it with your hands, so I'm going to be using a fork. So you want to break up all of the cornstarch and really let the water soak into it so that you have as much oobleck as possible and it doesn't get like super watery. It's also very important to have extra cornstarch and extra water in case you want to make it thinner with the water or thicker with the cornstarch. So this is where it gets hard to mix is when most of it's already turned into oobleck. Whoa! <laughs> Don't do that! Um, be gentle while you're mixing it and pay attention. Um, because it's already mostly oobleck, it's not quite there yet, so I'm having to kind of fold the oobleck on top of the water for it to be able to absorb the more water, because right now it's a bunch of oobleck with some water sticking on top of it, um, which is not what we want. We want it all to be oobleck. I'm going to push some of this cornstarch in. So now you have your oobleck, which is really, really amazing. So now you have mixed it, what do you do with it? Well, you could probably see a little bit of how it's behaving when I was using the fork to mix it, but the real way to see how it works is to finally use your hands to really get in there. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is punching it or poking it really hard with your finger, um, and you can see it behaves like a solid. Your finger won't go. Your finger won't go in. But then, if you put your finger or your whole hand in really slowly, it sinks right in. And then one of my favorite things to do is to, once it sinks right back in, try and pull it out really fast and see it picks up the bowl instead of letting my hand out. And you're going to have to be careful with doing that because you might like fling the bowl across the room. So only like a gentle tug. And another, um, which I think is the thing to do with Ooblick, is once you have some, is to pick it up and like make it into a ball like you're making clay into a... Oops, I got it on the coin starch, <laughs> into a ball. And as long as I'm squeezing it and putting pressure on it, and doing this with it, it's a solid, but the second I let go, it's a liquid. Which is the thing to do with Ooblick, and it's super fun. And yeah, Ooblick is just such an amazing thing. Like I said, it's ridiculously hard to describe how to, um, like, what Ooblick is. But once you play with it, you'll understand ex fully what I'm talking about. Another thing that we did over on Acto Games is we put some Ooblick into a balloon, which is really cool. And it behaves kind of like a stress ball, because if you squeeze really hard on it, it turns into a solid, but if you let go, it turns all goopy into a and into a liquid, which is really cool. Um, so if you squeeze it really hard, it's a solid, and it's really good for 
just when you really want to squeeze something, but if you squeeze it slowly, it's all goopy and liquidy, which is really, really amazing. And that's really good for relieving stress. It's a DIY stress ball. And that's probably going to last a while too, um, which is why it's really amazing to have on hand. And it's really easy to make a bunch of them so that you can give them to all your friends and stuff like that. And also this happens. So I'm going to play around with it for a second, and then I will come back and show you how to clean it up. So now that you've had your fun and gotten all messy with your oobleck, let's talk about how to dispose of the oobleck. So the first thing that I have is next to me in like the actual filming location, which is so sco spooky spooky behind the scenes. I have this tray of water, which I'm not going to turn to you because I would spill it all over the place. Uh, but I've been washing my hands off in that so I don't have extremely dirty hands throughout the entire video. Um, and that's really good for getting the oobleck off of your hands when you're done, or whatever other appendages you have stuck into it. Um, and then, um, what do you do with the remaining cornstarch, cornstarch, yeah, with the remaining oobleck that is not on you or your sibling or your parents' hands? And uh, the best way to dispose of it in the way that we dispose of it is we just let it dry out. I actually have, I'm gonna switch these out, I have some oobleck that we made a couple days ago that we have let dried out, and it just sort of dries into these big chunks, and then you just uh, break them apart and throw them away in your normal trash. And that's what you do with Ublik to dispose of it. We certainly don't recommend putting it down the drain, because it could dry up into one of these chunks in the drain, and it could also turn into Ublik, and there's like, a whole mess could happen if you put it in the drain, so we recommend just letting it dry out and throwing it away. And that's what we do to dispose of our Ublik. I'm going to put the normal oobleck that we have made back in front. So now that we have talked about how to make it and how to dispose of it, let's finally get to talking about the science of oobleck, which I think is really, really fascinating. So if you just take out some normal cornstarch that's not oobleck, um, you can take it out and you just sort of play with it uh, between your fingers. You can feel that it's really rough and it's kind of scratching against itself and it's all really uh, squeaky and stuff like that. It's not a very, I mean, some people might like playing with it, I don't. It's just sort of really rough and weird. And that's because um, cornstarch molecules are really, really rough and they're rubbing against each other. Uh, and when they're suspended in water, like they are in oobleck, for the most part, like when you're moving really slowly and um, not pushing very hard, they can just sort of orbit and float around each other. Like um, if you have your fingers, and these are cornstarch molecule molecules, they're just sort of floating around each other, and they're not like jamming into each other or anything. But if you apply a lot of pressure, they jam into each other. It's like when you jam your fingers really hard into each other, they're not moving. They're not orbiting around each other because they're stuck so close together. So when you're punching it or pushing it on it really hard, they're jammed together like this. And then when you relieve your pressure, like letting go of it when it's in a ball or take, trying to take your hand out slowly, it flows back out and it starts to orbit around itself again. Or not orbit necessarily, but float around and not be jammed in each other. And then when you put more pressure, it gets back stuck to itself. Um, and that is a super simple explanation of how oobleck works. It's a really, really fascinating substance and I love playing with it so much. I think we've made it like three times in the past week. Um, just because it's so fun to play with and I really, really love it. Like I said earlier, it is ridiculously hard to describe how, what oobleck really is. Like I can describe to you the science behind oobleck, I can describe to you that it's a non-Newtonian fluid and what a non-Newtonian fluid is, but you're not gonna know what it is until you actually touch it yourself. So I highly recommend like going to the grocery store and getting some cornstarch and just making some of it yourself because it is so fun to play with and even it's a little bit messy, uh, well not a little bit, a lot messy as you can clearly see by the set, which I've been very, very careful in. There's cornstarch and oobleck all over the place. Um, so I'd recommend putting down some newspapers or a tarp or even doing it outside. And all three, it doesn't hurt certainly. Um, so I'd recommend definitely putting like safety measures, I suppose, um, when you're doing oobleck so you don't get it all over the place because it is certainly very easy for it to sneak into places and not be found for years. Um, so make sure to be careful and be clean with your playing of oobleck. Um, I really want you guys to make videos, um, if you're comfortable, if I want you guys to make videos of yourself playing with oobleck, and if you do, tell us in the comments below, and we will make sure to share it with everyone here on a playlist about oobleck, because this is so cool, and I'm sure there will be more videos on it in the future.
Make sure to press the subscribe button if you want to see more really cool science experiments, as well as more in-depth um, explanations of the science behind many things and how our world works. So yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!